This is legit the tastiest jollof spaghetti or jollof pasta you ever make and I am saying it with my full chest. This is perfection in a plate you guys. Before we dive right into the video, if you're not subscribed, I want you to click on the subscribe button. It is free and now let us get into it. As usual, the full ingredient list and their quantities are going to be in the description box so please check it out. I am intentionally leaving the brands here so you guys know what I am using. In a pot, you want to add turkey. Of course, you can use chicken but I feel like people will use chicken at basic so do you. Now you're going to add some onion, add your spices and seasonings and then you want to stir this to combine. Now the trick is this, do not add water yet. You want to season this and then you're going to stir this. After stirring, you'll now cover the pot and allow it to cook. Just because you want those seasonings and spices to penetrate into the turkey before actually adding water. That is my method and I know that a lot of people do it and it works so please do it. Afterwards, now we're going to cover again, allow it to cook for a couple minutes minutes after cooking then you're going to stir it again this should take anywhere between five to ten minutes depending on how high your heat is now you're going to add your water this water you want to be generous with it but you also want to be careful so you don't lose your spices and seasoning because we're going to use this to cook the pasta later cover that and allow it to cook while it is cooking in my blender i'm going to add some fresh tomato to this i'm also going to add tatashe you will notice that the tatashe that i am using is a lot and that is because when you're making jollof rice or jollof pasta you need a lot of tatashe tatashe is what gives it that redness and you don't want a lot of tomato because you want to reduce the water quantity another thing you will notice here is that i am not adding water to this that is because my blender is strong, number one, and I don't want to waste time in the kitchen at all. So if you have a strong blender like mine, you just want to go ahead and not add any water to this. I also added a little bit of ginger to this. This is what our pepper mix looks like. You can see how smooth it is. That is what you should be looking for here. Now I'm just going to prep other vegetables. I'm using some carrots, bell peppers as usual. You can also use more if you want. This is just for garnishing. So your whatever you want actually works here after doing that i'm just going to check on our turkey and now our turkey is ready you can decide to use an air fryer to fry this if you're doing healthy living or if you prefer it but i want that original authentic jollof flavor so i am going to be frying this in my hot oil you want to fry this until golden brown this should not take so long while we're here you guys in case it's the first time you're hearing my voice or in case it's the first time you're seeing a video on my channel hi everyone my name is daniel i am a digital content creator and youtuber based in lagos nigeria i share recipe videos like this every week twice weekly i also post on my shots every day and i share a bit of my lifestyle in vlogs if that sounds like your thing please consider subscribing to my channel it is free and also if you like the video please give it a thumbs up also leave a comment share the video as it helps the algorithm know that you are actually enjoy it and they can also push my videos to a wider audience and i'm able to make more videos like this for you now in a pot we're going to add the oil that we use to fry the turkey add some onion i'm going to add some curry powder and some rosemary to this and then we're going to stir this the flavor the fragrance that this thing is going to give your kitchen you're not ready for it now i'm going to add some tomato paste to this and then i'm going to stir this essentially it's just the same way you make jollof rice just almost actually the same way nothing too fancy so if you know how to make jollof rice you should know how to make this you're going to stir this allow to cook for a bit before adding the blended pepper mix you will notice that i did not boil this pe pepper mix that is because number one we did not add water to this so it is already thick in itself and then i don't have energy so i just said to do that i'll let that simmer for a bit and while it is doing its thing i'm going to get some hot water and then i'm going to cook the pasta please do not break your pasta it is not needed your pasta should not also stay long in it in the pot because you don't want it to be soggy just enough to cook it now we're going to add some carrot our spices and seasonings the turkey broth you want to stir this to combine a bit one thing i like doing is that i like stewed turkey stewed beef stewed chicken and that is what we're going to be doing here so you're going to cook the chicken or the turkey sorry we're going to cook the cook the turkey for a bit in this sauce because everything has to have the same flavor in my opinion if you don't like stewed turkey you don't have to do this at all but i am one of those people that i have trust issues so i'm going to add my turkey to the stew before 
cooking the actual pasta this is what it looks like after a couple minutes because you want to let it seem at with it just so everything marries once you remove the turkey from that you're now going to add some maggi jollof seasoning this one is actually a must maggi jollof seasoning is a must i'll add the bell peppers to this and then i'll add the already cooked pasta as you can see the pasta looks like it's already cooked but it's also not overly cooked that is what you're trying to achieve here all you want to do now is stir this thoroughly everything should marry each other in this pot and that is it your jollof pasta the easiest and the tastiest jollof pasta you ever make is ready add some spring onions to this and you're good serve this to your family your friends everybody like i said if you love this video please give it a thumbs up click on the subscribe button share the video you can follow me on instagram at underscore on tiktok at underscore see you guys in my next video bye